hello guys and very warm welcome to in this video of px diffusion this is your host px and today we're gonna install linux over window we're gonna dual boot it dual boot it and it will be asking while the time of booting like which kernel do you really want it to boot in other than that i'm gonna show you how you can put this uh, app bar at the bottom center like this as i have installed and this is here i have installed the linux as you can see this is my linux and uh, i'm gonna set up this uh, with windows and let's quickly i'm gonna first show you how it will be asking for the kernels so let's uh, quickly restart the system while the time of restarting it will be kernel should ask you like which operating system do you want it to boot in so for that you should have a around 40 GB of space extra for uh, using um, Linux partition and window will be using some partition as well. So 256 GB uh, SSD or a hard drive will be enough for C drive plus your Linux drive. Okay, so it's getting restart here and kernel will ask you like which kernel, sorry, the bootloader will ask you which kernel you really wanted to boot in. And other than that, uh, we just boot in to Linux. So this time we're gonna boot in the um windows right so let's wait to system get started and uh, i'll show you uh, how you're gonna do it for that you also need a pen drive of at least 4 gb or 8 gb to boot uh, make the system bootable so let's wait for that yeah so it's uh, directly boot into the my um system which is uh, uh, actually um linux because i flipped my screen that's why maybe it's not asking so let's try once again so it's loading the uh, linux but again i'm gonna show you once again like how this process will be If you wanted to escape this just jump into the part where i'm installing the link yeah so this is how it will be asking you for loot uh, you know load the linux kernel or windows so this time we're gonna get inside from the windows so let's wait for that so now i'm inside my um, windows desktop and from here you need a small utility called uh, linux so yes okay for that you need a, a small utility called uh, rufus which will make pen drive bootable so uh, yes this is the rufus and uh, let's download it and run it okay so it's done downloading is done i'm gonna open it so this is my rufus i hope things are visible to you and now i have plugged in my drive which is this and i'm gonna select the iso file which i have downloaded earlier i'll give you the link of that as well so here i have some file this is a linux 20 iso file just select it and also just keep that thing in mind you should the partition type gpt and you because it supports uef files which is secure boot and uh, now fat32 is the default for this and let's make things ready and it will say like you it will be formatting your drive so no need to worry about and just Wait for a second and it will take some time it's almost done like gonna take few more seconds maybe it's copying the iso so it's done as you can see here it's done it's ready to boot let's make some space for our windows so let's go to our file system and go to the manager and this is to manage drive management and um, from here you gonna select the disk management and uh, you need to make some partition for that so for that 
first uh, check the, this is your c drive and here is the your uh, this was my swap space and this is my um, home directory and this is my root okay no issues let's quickly delete this first read this also so this will be my uh, linux partition which is of 110 gb as you can see here so now i'm gonna quickly boot uh reboot my system and plug in my usb so usb is already plugged in so let's quickly restart it so yeah restart press your boot key so in my case is 12 and now from this point we have some menu here boot from which drive so it is windows boot oh i by mistake i have selected the windows this will be done no worries system is getting restarted in windows once again no worries make sure you hit the right key the, in my case is 12 it's different differ like in asus it would be 8 and now select the ubuntu and you sorry not do not select the ubuntu actually you need to select the ue ufi um a data uh fast uh flash drive which is your pen drive so make sure you know your pen drive name and from here i'm gonna select uh uh just load the ubuntu and then uh we will be installing it from inside so let's open it So uh, let's wait for flash drive to run when ubuntu live first we gonna install uh, run the ubuntu live and then we gonna set up it ubuntu is both in now you will have to select first like we are not installing ubuntu directly first we are selecting try ubuntu options so it will be booting the ubuntu live so from here is pretty straightforward like select uh, installed ubuntu 20.0.4 uh, sorry 4.3 this is the latest version uh, lts select your language and click your keyboard and software update like install third party over wi-fi so open like okay so we will be selecting the normal installation with the download and update while installing so yeah we can do that as well this uh so third party software and we are not configuring the boot for the timing because we also need some third party applications and let's wait for next step So now the next option is install Windows over uh, like Linux over uh, Windows. So here we gonna select something option for advanced. This will handle everything. Like if you will select this option, so it will handle everything and uh, select the partitions accordingly. But we gonna select little advanced here. So yeah now you will be seeing your drive here this is the windows bootloader and this is your free space uh yeah so it's showing zero free space so let's wait yeah ntfs and it's one mb and this is your free space which is 110 uh, gb approximately yeah so now we are gonna quickly create some partitions the first partition we are gonna create for our uh, root so make sure your partition should be logical and uh, select this uh, and um, now here we will be selecting for root 
so how much space you should give the root root is the directory where you will be installing your all the softwares so i will be giving around 40 gb of space to the root so i will be giving around 40 or maybe a little more so it will be like it will be around uh, 410 and uh, 000 right so it is around uh, 40 gb this size will be given to the uh, root let's do that let's wait for partition to get created and the root is done now let's go and this is your next swap space maybe so where is the free space now okay so this is our free directory which has uh, like free, free space so we will be giving around 40 gb of uh, space to the root so this will be around um, 40 gb so make sure your partition should be logical and i will be giving the 40 gb to the root so it will be around uh, uh, 41240 and uh, so i will be giving around 40 gb to my root which is root will be the directory where your software and uh, your you know packages will be installed so this will be the root once your root partition is created now from the next free space you will have to create a swap space so uh, for swap uh, it's very debatable like how much space should you give to the swap so half of a ram size you can give so for in my case it's uh, i have um, 16 gb of ram so 8 gb or um, little less will be enough for uh, this so yeah around 8 gb of size i'm giving to the swap space how what how exactly swap space work whenever your uh, you know physical memory will be full so it will be act as uh, um, your uh, root uh, sorry the original memory so it will store the uh, you know your task into the swap space now rest of the size we going to give to the home it should be logical your home will be the directory where you will be creating your directories and storing your files once it's done you almost done with it like we have created a swap space home and um, root right so now click install so these three uh, we have created these three will be get formatted now hit next and continue and uh, select your reason so for me it's kolkata and here you can select your uh, username your name so far it will be like okay so your computer name so it will be attitude and your nickname will be professor choose password okay so it should be in the lower because it will be your username choose your password so make sure you enter your password carefully and so it says use active directory so leave it for the timing and automatic login so you want to enter the password so it's you don't need to do that so okay so yeah go and wait for things to get done this will take a uh, few minutes uh, depending upon your uh, internet speed because i have connected it to internet as well so it will be updating as well if you are not doing from internet so it will depend on completely your uh, hardware configuration so let's wait for things to get done as my configuration is little high so it's doing it very nicely uh, let's wait and it's almost done
so in my case it only took uh, like couple of minutes two or three minutes now I'm gonna restart it and removing the bootable pen drive and uh, now it should ask me so here you can see it's asking to remove the bootable and I have already removed it and hit enter and uh, let's see how things gonna work for us so here we have our Linux ready let's hit enter to the Linux enter your username and password and you are done now it's asking for some setup so you can do that and all you can escape the things right and um, yeah few things need to be done and uh, yes yeah, so quickly open your come on terminal here yeah. and in terminal i'm gonna first upgrade my uh, linux that first i need to check whether i'm connected to internet or not but i have already entered the username and password so it will be done now uh, now we first gonna upgrade it so sudo apt up first update and let's enter your password so yeah now i need to upgrade it and hit yes so this will take a couple of minutes so let's wait all right so most of the part is done but what we have here is like we wanted to put this navigation bar at the uh, you know app bar at the bottom center so we are gonna do that first we gonna give a command here I'll give you the command in the uh, link let's just clear it and this is the command so now it's at the center so height extension is extended at top as center now the next command will be to move it at uh you know left so here i just uh you know added um application show uh, as left so this will be like application bar will be at the left side previously it was at right side if you want to do it at like false so it will be like here right at the bottom but we wanted it to be here at first side why it is i'll tell you now just open your settings once and um, from here at the princess uh, you will be having this option here at the bottom so select this at the bottom and now we have so our dock is at the bottom now if you want to put the uh this thing uh the trash inside the it so we can also do that for that i have a command here so again open your terminal and hit this command so all these three commands i'm going to give you in description so you don't need to worry about it so here you can see your trash is here at the top and uh, this is how we have done it so guys i hope you like this video and if you guys like this video so please do subscribe to my channel to support and um, hit that bell icon as well for next upcoming videos i'm gonna bring some really cool linux related videos and the depth of videos as well cheers guys